was working at Orvis uh, three years ago, and Sean Combs is the Orvis designer for Rod. Orvis Rod designer. <laughs> Uh, he had a Flycraft, and uh, I was working for Orvis, and I was like, I think I remember seeing it on top of his car, and I was like, holy okay. that's basically a drift boat on top of this guy's car, and I was like, that's crazy. Um, and then I think I looked, I looked it up, and as soon as you kind of see the dimensions of, of, the, of the Flycraft, I mean, it was the first boat of its kind to have the ability to transport two people down a river and fit on top of the car. I had a good friend, Rich Strollis, uh, that was in the flag, and I started seeing some of his Instagram accounts and just looked at the boat, and when I did some research on it, it was, it was a gnarly boat. And it, was, uh, it was one of the few companies I actually approached about wanting to get on board and staff. And, uh, once, I got, once I got the boat, uh, I liked it so much, I actually got a second boat for my wife. One of the things I like about the Flycraft is that when you look at the product, it's a very clean, simple design, but everything that's part of the boat is very well thought out. There's no additionals. I mean, everything is bare bones, exactly what you need. Uh, and it's just a quality product. Everything from travel to even, I've driven across the country three times on my vehicles. No issue. It's just a phenomenal piece of equipment. Sweet. The quality of the, the Flycraft is exceptional. And I wouldn't say that if it wasn't true. There's other models, different companies that don't quite have the, the refinement that the Flycraft has. Uh, again, very comfortable, uh, very practical. Uh, my wife and I fish out of this boat very comfortably, two anglers. Uh, it's just been a gem. I've thrown a fly at a shark in less than six inches of water multiple times using the Flycraft. What I, what I liked the most about Flycraft was that I have a drift boat and I've had drift boats for years. I've been on the oars for 30 years, but what I liked the most about it was those times when you don't have want to have all the ordeal and all the complexity of a drift boat and the trailering and I, I wanted to have something that I could put on water that not only wouldn't be generally accessible from a drift boat, but it would be easy. Well, if I were to uh, rate this on a scale of let's say 1 to 10 in overall performance and the way I'd like it to, uh, that I would consider and want it to perform, I'd say it performs at an 11. I looked at it and I instantly saw that that is portable. I can move that thing and it's super maneuverable. So when we took it out on the Blue River here in Colorado, there's a you know a dicey spot of the blue which everyone loves to fish, the Jurassic area. Um, it's not easy to get down to. This boat was no problem at all. One of the coolest things about it is just how little water it draws. So you can take it down side channels and stuff and fish water that you normally can't fish when you're you know fishing in a boat. There's a handful of like small, medium-sized streams in Pennsylvania which very has very limited access. And this boat is easy to launch. You can launch it anywhere. It's about 110 pounds. Uh, I can do it by myself or even have my uh, little guy, my little son help me out. So it has opened up miles and miles of unfishable water, which were basically posted, un unaccessible. And now with this boat, I can I get on most of those waters now. Uh, wad it up, stick it right on top of the roof. I can uh, blow it up, stick it on top of the roof. Uh, we can also transport it. My brother has a larger drift boat for uh, guide trips and stuff like that. And guess what? We can piggyback boats. We did this on the Arkansas this year. We piggybacked this boat right on top of the big drift boat uh, and no problem, just strapped it to it. I transport it in the back of my truck and the beauty of that, I don't have to worry about being used in the dock, so I don't have to worry about launching at the dock. I can pull up, pull it out of the back, slide it down to the edge, and then I'm off and running. The other advantage there too is that I don't have to worry about crossing still waters and defeating wind. If I find winds hard from the north or south, I can launch from the opposite bank and bay and then I'm good to go. I think what stuck out to me the most was the versatility of the boat. Um, I could do an overnight camping trip really easily in a smaller boat and I like the portability of it. I didn't need a trailer. I throw it in the back of the truck and I just go. You know, I live in like 650 square feet. Uh, our house is super tiny, so the fact that it can kind of like compress down to nothing was a big initial sell point. Uh, and then, you know, after I got it, we put this boat through hell like a few times. I mean, it, uh, it's almost a joke how much we abuse it. We're just throwing it off cliffs and, uh, you know, 
the durability is definitely a big, big aspect for us. The boat has taken a beating. I've taken it on, on many, many rivers: the Green, San Juan, North Platte. I've hit up against rocks. I flipped it over once on the Colorado. It's not a problem. No, I think it's above where I thought it would be. I mean, those guys gave, uh, got me a boat, and then they said to basically just beat the hell out of it, drag over rocks and stuff. And I've only had to do one patch job to it so far, and it's uh, it has stood the test of time. I would say that it was a pleasant surprise. We got on the river and. I was a little worried it might be too light, but that wasn't a problem and super maneuverable. It's totally bomber. I don't really know how you break it. Uh, even, you know, I think naturally everyone's worried about puncturing it, but you just, if you look at it, you hit it, you kick it twice, and you don't go back. All the waters, you know, within a couple hours of Denver, we can now fish. There were weight fishermen before, so that's a huge, huge change, being able to fish tons of water in a day. So we, we take it out with the whole family when we go camping. That's the other good thing about it. We have a, he has a four-year-old sister, so, you know, she can sit in the back and he can sit in the front on the lakes, and we've done, done a lot of that, too. So. The greatest thing I dealt with was an angler, good friend and client, Pat Daly. Took him out on the boat. He'd never been out on stillwater fly fishing before, and as we were moving about, we discovered a pot of fish that were lifting up, consuming calabatus on the surface. Next thing you know, he's five fish deep, into his backing on two different battles, changed the way he thinks about fly fishing from that moment forward. So 